All right, Shalom, Shalom, blood ones, all praise of an hour. Yahweh, Bashim, Mashak, Yahweh, Bashim, Kakwadash, peace and bless to all the blood ones, baptized in this New Testament for the mission of sins and the Messiah. All right, peace and blessings be multiplied to you and your loved ones, man. All right, so uh, today I want to bring out a. I always say quick, but you know, I never know how, you never know, you know, uh, how long the spirit going to talk, right? Because the scriptures tell you it's not ye that speaketh, but the spirit that's, uh, of God that speaketh in you, right? So we have the spirit of God, those that of us that's truly sincere in this New Testament with a pure heart and sound mind, man. All right. Having a sound mind, having good uh, decision making, man. All right. Which is the spirit of discernment. All right. Those that have their conscience, uh, uh, that are uh, able to exercise between good and evil, man. All right. So uh, peace and blessing to the blood ones. Baptizing this New Testament. All the brothers in the, in the New Testament. All the brothers in the New Covenant. You know, all the saints, man. Shalom. You know what I'm saying? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 14, and says, Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel, man. All right, so this scripture is telling you, man, you got to practice what you preach, man. All right? If you're going to uh, pick up this Bible, then what? You got to live according to the Bible, man. Like the Lord Yahweh Shai says, man, you know, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God doth man live. All right? The Lord Yahweh Shai quoted that to Satan, man. All right? So what? We have to what, practice what we preach like the Lord Yahweh Shai did. All right? The things he spoke in the spirit, and he also what, walked in the flesh, man. All right? Like the scripture says, um, that we should walk like he did, basically, man. All right, so if we're gonna preach him, we need to what? Live like him, all right? If we're preaching Christ, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, New Covenant, the New Testament, all right? We have to what? Live a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right, so even so have the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel, man, all right? Showing you what the kingdom of of God is what um, being made manifest in the hearts of His disciples, man. All right, they that preach the gospel should live of the gospel, right? Live in what what you preaching, man. All right, which is what this new covenant, man. All right, because the gospel is the new covenant, all right? Coming back to the Lord power, man. All right? And receiving what? Everlasting life through the Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay?
verse 1 says, Therefore thou art inexcusable. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man. All right, so Paul says thou art inexcusable. Let's get that in the Greek. Okay. Strong's G379. Anapalagitas. Anapalagitas. Right. I'm not gonna right. I ain't gonna say it, but it means to uh to be without excuse, man. Without defense or excuse meaning you can't uh make an excuse, man. That which cannot be defended and excusable, meaning what? You can't defend sin and lawlessness, man. Right? That's why Paul is saying what you're inexcusable, meaning what? Uh, you can't defend uh, wickedness, right? Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, right? Meaning there's no excuse for this. Right, whosoever thou art that judges, right? Telling people well, what's right and what's wrong. You're going off, he's going off, right? It's, you know, right? For wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges doeth the same things, man. All right, so if you're what? Condemning people, all right, according to the scriptures, then you're what? doing those same actions that you condemn people for, what well, you're gonna what uh you're gonna condemn yourself, man. Alright, going back to what practicing what you you preach, man. Alright, showing you it's no excuse for a person that uh is judging other people and yet doing the same actions that you condemn people for, man. Right? Meaning what? You ain't, they that uh, preach the gospel should live the gospel. Why are you supposed to live the gospel if you're going to preach it, right? This is why you can't, what, uh, tell somebody what they're wrong on until, what, you repent from that wrong, man, and get the beam out your own eye, right? Have to get the beam out your own eye. You can't be a hypocrite condemning people for the same things you do, Right? But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to the truth against them which commit such things, right? Those that would uh, condemn and judge others, right? Then do the same thing that you're judging people for, right? And thinkest thou this, O oh man, that judges them which do such things and doeth the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Right, like the what old covenant. You can't condemn somebody according to the old covenant because what you condemn yourself. See that showing you, you got to come into the new. All right. It says, or, or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. See, the Lord is trying to lead the flock unto repentance, man. Let's get to uh. Greek word for repentance. Okay, a change of mind as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. Okay. So that's what uh repent. It means to uh change your mind now. Alright, and the only way you can do that is through the Holy Spirit. Let's keep it going. All right. This is uh and, and uh but after but after the, thy hardness and impenitent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds. See that the Lord's gonna judge every man for your own actions and doings, man. To them who be by patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality and eternal life right so immortality eternal life glory and honor is to what the beloveds that's being patient in this thing and continuing in this thing doing well man but unto them that are contentious right those that come with that contentious spirit right 
Some preach Christ of contention, but not of sincerity, right? What unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, right? Those that don't obey the truth, right? But obey unrighteousness, right? They obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, man. All right? And that's the opposite of immortality and eternal life. All right? It's indignation and wrath. All right? The scriptures tell you, uh, you know, the wrath of God abideth on the unbelievers, man. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil. See that? The scriptures tell you he sends tribulation and anguish to every soul of man that doeth evil. Of the Jew first and also of the Gentile, man. All right? So the Lord doesn't want his, his uh, creation to do evil. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. See that? To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respecter of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without the law shall perish also without the law. So on you, you got to keep these uh, commandments. You can't what? Uh, be following the devil, basically. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. See that? Wait a minute. I thought the law was done away with. How can how can the law judge you if it's done away with? Right? And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Right? Meaning what? You got to practice what you preach, man. You know? Did not he say, uh, you know, you can't go around uh, judging other people and uh, when you do the same thing, you condemn yourself, man. That's why I say they that uh, preach the gospel shall also live it, right? Practice what you preach, all right? So uh, with that, I'll praise Abba Nava. Yahweh, Shalom, Shalom.